I bet you can't guess what one of my favorite snacks are. Did you say M&M's? You're right. And today, M&M's are going to help us learn about being thankful. Hi, I'm Miss Terry, and this is Sunday School for the Young and the Young at Heart. And today, our lesson's going to be about someone that went back and thanked Jesus for helping him. It comes from the book of Luke, the 17th chapter, and verses 11 through 19. Remember, when you're looking, uh, when you see a scripture, the first thing you see is the book, which is Luke. The second is the chapters, and the last numbers are the verses. So today, we're going to hear the story about Jesus healing the the lepers. When I was little, I thought they were leapers, and I thought they were people that couldn't stop jumping, but really they are people that have a skin disease. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, and as he was going into a village, ten men with leprosy came to meet him, and they stood at a distance, which was the law, and they called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go and show yourself to the priest. When you had a skin disease like that, you were sent away to live. You couldn't live with your family or friends. And if you did get better, you had to go see the priest. And there was a, a set number of rules you had to go through before you could go back and live with your family. So they went to see the priest, and they were clean. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice, and he threw himself at Jesus' feet, and he thanked him. And Jesus said, Weren't there ten that I cleansed? Where are the other ones? What happened to the other nine? Um, but no one else returned to thank Jesus. And he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. So, thanking Jesus is a very important thing that we should do. He's given us so very much. So today, with the help of my M&Ms, we're going to learn how to pray a thank you prayer. The first thing we're going to pray to is... To Jesus. All of the M&M's have an M on them, and I'm sure that's just the candy logo. But for us Christians, we can think of that M as Master. Jesus is our Lord and Master. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to thank Jesus for all that he's done for us and all that he's given us. The second one, the brown one, is for your family. This could be just your mom or your dad or your grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins. And just whoever you are thankful for in your family. And think about what they do. And also, you might think about some of your friends that don't have family. The third one is that we should be thankful for our food and our home. I don't know about where you're at, but where I'm at is a very cold and windy day, and I am very glad to be in. And I know that we'll be having three meals today, and I can even go and get some snacks like M&M's if I want to. So I'm be thankful for what you have in your home and on your table. And again, you can remember those that don't have any. You should also be thankful for others. There's a lot of people in your life that aren't family. People like your, your friends and your neighbors and people in church and even the teachers in school. Then, 
give thanks for one special person. Or if you want, you can thank many people. But just name them by names. And last of all, we should be thankful for the helpers in our lives. For our teachers who help us to learn and our, the doctors and nurses that take care of us when we are sick. Our parents that help us every day. And you might need, know some more helpers. So, as I pray, I want you to pray with me and I'll leave a little space so that you can, uh, you can either repeat what I say with your lips or with your heart and you can add what's important to you to thank Jesus for. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. I want to take this moment to say thank you for everything you have given me. Thank you for my family, for my parents that take care of me and help me every day. Thank you for our warm homes and the good food we have on our table. Thank you for my friends, my neighbors, and people in our church. And even thank you for the teachers in our school. Thank you for Steve, who is someone special to me. Thank you for our helpers, for our teachers who help us to learn, our doctors and nurses that take care of us when we are sick, and our parents that help us every day. We say all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. See you next week.